Hi guys, welcome back to Tech Talk Tour. It's Mr. Lahuddin. Today we're going to learn how to make a splash screen or a welcome screen in Windows Form application using C Sharp language. Open Visual Studio and go to New, check a new project, select your language and name your application. I just name our program name as screen, splash screen and locate your location where your file is to be saved. Now press OK. After that, we will get a form here. OK, we need two forms because we are creating a welcome screen. After that, the welcome screen is loaded. We have to load our main screen where our main works are being gone. So we just go to Solution Explorer and right click on it. Just add a Windows form. Now you can rename it as you wish. I just name it as main main.cs this is our main form so the first form is here this is our welcome form just remember that the first form form 1 is our welcome screen it means our splash screen the main is our main screen where our main works are being run so just before going into our tutorial I will just show you what is a, what is the welcome screen. I just open Photoshop. Here, this is the welcome screen. Before opening the Photoshop, you have seen a short time uh, window that is the welcome screen. You can call it as splash screen. Now, this is the element we have to put it in the background of our new splash screen. So I just made it transparent and save it as a PNG transparent image. After that, come into our main window. Just go to form 1 and in the property window, you can set the background image as the last image we have created now. Just be sure that this is the transparent layer in this portion where we want to remove. Now this is tile, so this will be in a tile like structure one by one. So then go to control, take any color whatever you want and go to below in the transparent key choose the same color that you have chosen in the upside so after that click on the form now we have to write some code here so I have already written this code right here so I just copy and paste it now this is the code for making the width of image equal to the width of our window the width and height automatically will be adjusted to according to the width of our image we have provided to the splash screen so now we have to set a timer for form 1 because we have to load the form 1 it means our splash screen is to be seen for a certain time interval after that we should open our main window so we can go to toolbox and drag a timer to our form 1 click on timer you can see the property window where you can see the timer name I just let the timer name remain like timer 1 you can enable this timer after that you can make the interval 1000 if you are wishing to be 1 second I just wish 3 seconds so I give 3000 now we can go to the form code in the program we can click on the timer double click on the timer so we will be entered into timer tick event in the tick event our timer name is timer.1 timer1 timer1 dot start we can call the start action for the timer after that we can stop this time uh, we can close this form after the timer is being run so this dot close 
So now what will happen? We can look. Timer will start for three seconds because we have already set the three seconds here. After that, this form will be closed. So form one, one will be closed. After that, we have to open our second form, which is main.cs. So that we have to write another code. Just go to solution explorer, find out program.cs. After that, duplicate this line of code and paste it below it. And this is the form name we have to open next time. So our, in my case, it, it is main.cs. So write it down. So this is over. Now we can go again to form one. Now we can check whether this work or not. You see the program is running after three seconds we have shown the main video. Now we have to make the transparent layer in the form one because we have to cut this area out so we have to go to the property form one property in the window when I run the application you have already seen this area is transparent. For the sake of seeing for a long time I just arrange the time interval of my form 1. I just put it to 3000. So I will run. You see, I will put something in the background. So you can see this area is removed. But we have to make this sharpen. You see the edge is not sharpened. It is not clear so we have to make it clear so we just go to program again or source code again and then find out the property of the form one here what I have did is that back color is control and the transparent key is control so that our trans uh, this color is gone into transparent gone into transparency so we have to arrange this color which is similar to our image we have put in the splash screen so be sure that do not choose a color that exists in this area because if you choose like that color will also be transparent I will show you an example I just choose white and here also I choose white now the white portion will be transparent in my case i have written some letters here welcome you can write the details of your program here this is the white colored text so this area and also this text will be transparent i will run and show you you see this letter portion is also transparent so we have to overcome this so Come again to our source code. Here we can put some other color but which is similar to this color so that we can overcome the unsharpened edge of this splash screen. So go again and choose. I just choose another color that I feel good is light blue screen or deep blue deep sky blue and I choose the same color here so now we can run the app you see the edge is very clear it is not much clear but it is very adjustable you can check every color what is suitable with your image you are setting in your splash screen. So now we have to set the time back. I have increased the time interval in the form 1 time property. I put again back to 3000. After that we can run this 1, 2, 3. After 3 seconds the main window opened. Check it again. 
one, two, three. After three seconds, the main window open. In the main window, you can do whatever you want as you usually do in your software. Now, maybe if you wish, you can click and drag your splash screen everywhere in the screen by using mouse. So if you would like to learn how to do it, just see the second part of this video. Thank you.